in the seventh question that we have there is a string fixed at both ends and its equation of vibration is given we need to find out the wavelength and the wave speed of the two transverse waves that combine to give the above equation we also need to find out the position of nodes anti nodes and the number of loops in the string so the first thing that we should realize while looking at this question is uh, while looking at this equation is that this is an equation of a standing wave because the equation of a standing wave which is formed by the combination of two transverse waves of same amplitude and, tra and traveling in opposite direction with the same frequency is a standing wave of the above format that is y is equal to a sin omega t minus kx plus phi 1 and y is equal to a sin omega t plus kx plus phi 2 these two combine that is y1 and y2 that is y1 plus y2 is the standing wave of the above format 2a cos kx plus some other theta 1 into sin of omega t plus theta 2. You should remember this thing that whenever there are two waves of same amplitude and same frequency but traveling in opposite direction when they are superimposed they give a resultant wave which is a standing wave. So, this is an equation of a standing wave. Now, the wavelength lambda of the component waves that is found out by using this k comes in the component comes in front of x. So, here the k value is equal to 1.57. So, we can write this as 2 pi by lambda is equal to 1.57. Therefore, lambda is equal to 2 pi by 1.57 that is equal to 4 centimeters. So, we get the value of answer for lambda is equal to 4 centimeters. Now we need to find out the wave speed. The wave speed can be found out by it can be found out simply by using lambda f is equal to v, where v is the wave speed. Now for that we need the frequency. This frequency can be found out from this omega, which has again come here in front of t. This omega is equal to 314 second inverse. This is equal to 2 pi f. The f is equal to 314 upon 2 into 3.14 that is equal to 50 hertz. So, the value of f comes out to be 50, the value of lambda was 4 centimeters, therefore, it comes out to be 200 centimeters per second. So, the wave speed comes out to be equal to 200 centimeters per second. Now, for the B part, we need to find out the position of nodes, anti nodes. For that, let us draw the diagram of the string. The length of the string is given to be 10 centimeters. We need to find out the nodes and anti nodes. This end of the string and this end of the string are stationary, therefore, they act as nodes. We had already known the value of lambda to be equal to 4 centimeters. We know that the closest distance between two nodes is lambda by 2 that is equal to 2 centimeters. Therefore, the next node will come at a distance of 2 centimeters and they will keep and they will keep coming at a distance of 2 centimeters. Therefore, the first node will be at 0 then 2 centimeters then 4 centimeters then 6 centimeters then 8 centimeters and then 10 centimeters that is the end of the string and there is a node here also. So, the total number of nodes that we have is 6. Now, the anti nodes come in between two nodes. So, these are the position of anti nodes that is at 1 centimeters, 3 centimeters, 5 centimeters, 7 centimeters and 9 centimeters. Now, to find out the number of loops, what we do is that we draw the string again 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. This will be a node therefore, this point will always be at rest. The anti node is the point which has maximum displacement. So, the standing wave will be of this format therefore, the number of loops is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, final answer is the number of nodes is 6 and they are located at 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 centimeters. The anti nodes are anti nodes are located at 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 centimeters and the number of loops that is present in the standing wave is 5.
to be get a final answer.